Well, hey everybody. This is a tutorial on how to revamp a uh, ugly looking bar. This is the old bar. <laughs> Storage is terrible. So uh, focusing on how to do wine foils in this tutorial. Uh, we threw in some light into here, glass shelves. Um, oh yeah, a cork overlay. You can buy veneer cork and put it on anything. And so in the bottom shelf here, there's cork there. And then the hubby did a tile job. So this is really exciting for us to do this to the bar because before it was just this unused space. So let's get going. So hubby cut out a hole and uh, we ended up we didn't like the small hole, so we went with a big one and then changed that light kit at the top to angle down. So the light now shines all the way down through the bar and into where the glassware is. And also needed to paint the walls here because once we removed the shells, it was so marred, it was beyond saving. On to the wine foils. So this is your basic wine foil that you get on a bottle. And so find the seam, it's around here somewhere, and you cut up there, because we're gonna be using what surrounds the bottle as well, so we're cutting carefully here. And you cut the top off. All right. Bing. And now most of these foils, there's that seam. Well, if you find it and clip right behind it, you can easily take off the very top of it because it's just glued on. So find that glue seam and just peel it off. Open it up so it's flat. And then this hammer here, not this one, this hammer, I put in, this is what you put underneath chairs to make them smooth, uh, move nice. So this doesn't mar up the surface as you're pounding it. So pound each side back and forth until it gets nice and flat. And then rub it around because it kind of domes out so you want to flatten it. All right, now this one is for more expensive bottles. I think it is just formed all the way around the, the bottle. So it's like a different animal. So you have to cut it closer to the edge because this is going to be the edge of your wine foil. So you wanna have a nice looking circle. Now for screw tops, you can use those as well, but you gotta get these metal scissors. They have the horsepower to cut through these things. So crank away, a little tough on the hands, but it can be done. And once you get that off inside, there's like this foam lid so pop that out and then cut as close as you can to the edge again you're making the circle that's going to be there when you pound it and then some screw tops have this plastic inside it's a little bit more work to get it out and you're also going to have to pry out the inside plastic lining it's glued in there so you may have to even have to get your needle nose pliers but got lucky here there's not that much glue you can see when I pop it out, a little bit of that glue. All right, and then these are the cheap ones. They're, they're basically plastic, but if you find that seam at the very top of the wine foil is real metal foil that you can peel off. So you gotta be careful though, but once you get it going, then boom, you get that lid. Okay, for champagne stoppers, you just pull those apart the wires and it'll pop out and these are my favorite ones because they made these coins but you need metal <laughs> to pound it against and you just whack away over and over again and you'll probably want some headphones because it is loud but eventually you'll get it this flat yeah nice and do the same thing so you get that dome out okay and then uh, the screw tops, you could, you do the same thing because it's metal, you're gonna need to have that metal bottom, but just pound those out. Okay, those uh, things that went around the bottle, roll them out like pizza pie. <laughs> so they're nice and flat, they get wrinkled. And uh, clean up the edges. And for some of these, this one was really big, um, went and made it smaller 
And then also, I like the rounded corners, but it's up to you on what look you're going for. All right, time to Mod Podge. This is some cool stuff, but you lay a little bit down on there, grab your wine foil, slide it into place. Pretty easy, just gotta do a zillion of them. After it all dried, check your edges. And uh, I used a, this is a wood pottery tool, but use it to burnish it down. Use something soft. And oops, it looks like one of the foils didn't quite get down. You'll find that here and there. So just grab some more Maj Podge and glue that back down. And now you're gonna do a coat all over the whole thing and do it with a, a wet edge, meaning do a section and then go right and do the next section and, and just keep a wet edge so you don't get like double coats. And now it's time to put on the wine foils. Pick the corners of the bottom layer so you can cover that up. That's a good goal to the, for the first round. And then you come in and just put them where you want them, just around and around and around, trying to keep the colors random for me. I had a lot of black ones. Um, yeah, so just have a little fun with this one. And then do another coat of Maj Podge. And um, I think I ended up doing three coats. That's your call on how thick you want it. I wanted the texture to show a little bit through here. Forgot to mention, you can also bend these foil over corners. All right, well, uh, years ago I put this on my wine cooler. Wine is always a good idea. <laughs> but now you can start to see uh, the benefit that I did not expect. The wine foils luminesce with the lighting up top, so it really glimmers. For the corners, make sure you, you cut them so it looks like they're going into infinity or else it would look like they got all bunched up over there. Well, the light needed to be diffused. So this is, was bought at the overhead ceiling section. Just needed a small bit of it, but buy this tool, it's a plastic score. You can't do it without this tool. And you go down and it'll slowly carve out a channel and you repeat over and over again until you think you're about halfway down and you'll know it because it'll start to skip and then get ready, take a big gulp of wine, and just go for it. Yes! <laughs> Ooh, that was a nail biter. <laughs> oh, yep. That looks very nice. <laughs> well, Hubby had the tile work, so I'm not gonna go into how to do that. But it looked great when he got done with that. I, though, had the cork veneer. So got this glue called Stick and Stay and you lay it on there. It says to allow it to get tacky, but it got tacky pretty quick. So put, let's see, my veneer wasn't wide enough. So put in that little strip and then you put the rest down. Try to get it as smooth as you can and lay that down there and use a, I used a little roller that I had, but any kind of rolling thing to burnish that in and get the glue nice and level as best you can inspect it with your light push any air bubbles down and you may have to do that a couple times while it's curing just to any air that pops up get it out and then coat with anything you don't have to even coat but picked a water base for this one in a matte sheen and uh, it has a perfect finish i think for what we're looking for and with that you are done look at the way the light reflects off of that stainless steel tile it's just a beautiful effect that you get shimmering. Uh, the glass shells were bought on an online store. You can get them in all kinds of places. There's the light kit. Uh, the way it backlights the items up there was another bonus surprise. Um, the shells are held up just by trim board. It, glass shells are stronger than you think. <laughs> all right, well, I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. It was a lot of fun uh, making this project with the husband. And new thing for me. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Bye.